Johnny Frankham is a legend amongst travelling men. There's never been one as good since, and there wasn't one back then. He'd spin at Eps and Downs for five or ten grand, but the greatest night of all was when Harry Gibbs raised his hand. While he walked into the arena, he was looking fit and trim. In the other corner, Chris Finnegan stared at him, but Johnny just nodded and he gave him a little wink. And when the first bell sounded, he didn't give Chris chance to think. Now through rounds two to four, whore, old Chris was rough and tough. But Frankham danced around his man and said, you're not good enough. And old Rhymer Stocking shouted, Johnny, it's do or die. And then he threw a big right hand and he split old Chris's eye. Well, Johnny turned to Rhymer and he said, please have no fear. Now sit back and be quiet with that cauliflower ear. Cause I am Johnny Frankham, the best you'll ever see. And I'll be fucked before I let Chris Finnegan beat me. Now through rounds eight to ten, old Johnny he stood tall. He danced around like Halley in the Royal Albert Hall. It was the third of June, that balmy summer's night. When Chris and Johnny Frankham had that famous British fight. Now through rounds 12 to 14, the fight was getting close. But just like at Hepson Racecourse, John could see the winning post. So he threw a combination and he done a little pose. As the blood it started flowing out of Chris's eye and nose. Now the final bell it sounded, it was the 15th. Frowned. Old Chrissy come out swinging, but Johnny stood his ground. He for another combination to Chris's head and ribs, and then he got his hand raised by that famous Harry Gibbs. Now the moral of this story, boys, you young men soon will see. Johnny Frankham is a legend, but he's a little bit like me. He may be the greatest gypsy man that we will ever see, but you'll never hear another man make a song as good as me. Johnny Frankham is a legend amongst travelling men. There's never been one as good since, and there wasn't one back then. He'd spin at ups and downs for five or ten grand. But the greatest night of all was when Harry Gibbs raised his hand.